Hi, Sarah here from Red Rocking Bird. I love everything crafty and creative and so that's what you'll find here on my channel. So please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and I look forward to sharing all my projects with you. I've got a really exciting project for you. I have this really gorgeous backpack from Seventeen London and I would just like to personalise it a bit. So if you come with me and head over to my workshop, I'll show you how. If you're quite new to sewing, then I'll show you really quite simply and easily how we can make this little fox. So you'll need the template, you'll need some pins, a needle and some cotton threads. And for the fabric, I'm using a mixture of felt and fleece, but you just need any non-fraying fabric. And we're going to be attaching the really cute fox onto the handle here of our cute backpack. Choose two colours that you like that go well with your bag and then you'll need a small piece of darker felt. Place your paper templates onto your fabric and very neatly pin them in place. Add as many pins as you need so that they hold the fabric and the template in place while we cut in a moment. Cut the excess fabric away and then we're going to cut really neatly all the way around the perimeter here making sure that none of that fabric shifts as we go and we're going to do the same for every piece of our template and the template tells you how many pieces you need for each. At the end I'll also quickly run through how we can turn him into a keyring. So there we have all our pieces. Make sure you just cut them as neatly and as accurately as you can at this stage because it does make a difference later on. And as you will see on the template it says for the inner, one cut one and cut one in reverse. So that just means you cut one this way up and then you turn the template over and you cut another one. And that just matters if you've got a right and a wrong side of the fabric. Like with the fleece here, it's got um, a fluffy side on one side and a flat side on another one. Take the headpiece right side up and the top piece right side up. And you just place them on the top of each other here. Just deciding which way round I wanted it to be. And so this is going to be the front of your face here. So you want everything right side up. We neatly pin that in place and we're just going to take a thread and we're going to sew right along this bottom edge with just a running stitch. Thread the needle with some matching thread and tie a knot in the other end. And we're just going to neatly sew right along here. So just an in out stitch trying to make all those stitches the same size. Secure the end with a knot and snip off the excess. To make the cute little ears we're going to do exactly the same here. We're going to take an inner piece and we'll take two of the main ear pieces. And first of all we're going to add the inner piece on and sew right round the edge there and add the other main ear and sew right around the edge too. It's up to you if you use contrasting or matching thread. So here I've done the first little one. So there's no turning with this, we're going to just sew them together as they go. So the same stitch again, a running stitch. So there we are, both of them done. Remove any pins and then what we're going to do is right sides together, fold this down in that direction, make sure that the lines all match up nice and neatly, add a pin and then we're going to do some more running stitch. See it's all very very simple and as long as you can do a running stitch with a needle then you can do this project, it's all good. So again, we're going to start from this point here, put some nice tight neat stitches in. Just make sure you get all four layers trapped in 
within the thread there and we're going to sew right along this edge. So that's all sewn and tied off at the end and then we're going to sew this bottom bit here and we're going to sew just to the very bottom here I'll show you. So we're going to do exactly the same, start at this little corner and sew around to the very base. While I sew you can grab your materials and sew along with me. And just pause the video when you need to. So just to here and then tie your threads off and snip those off. Then we can turn it. There we go, it's starting to take shape, starting to look cute. And so then we take our ears, place them above where you're happy with them and then we're simply going to turn them over so that we have our right sides together here. I'm going to line the curves up and allow a little gap in the middle and a little gap on the edge and pin them in place and we'll do the same with the second ear. Turn it over and line it up. So we take our fox back piece and we want to put right side down. And so just decide if you've got a right side. Here I'm going to put right side down and first of all we need to find the centre so fold it in half and put a little pin in and then we can match that centre up with our centre line on the front there. And so neatly line that up and then we're going to gently pin in across here and yes you've guessed it, do a running stitch right across the top. It is so easy if you just follow all the simple steps then you will achieve a cute little fox at the end. So just very neatly align all those edges at the top and then add in as many pins as you feel you need to make it secure, ready to stitch. There we go. So we're going to sew across the top but we're also going to sew down that first little bit, like just less than a centimetre, a third of an inch, we're going to sew there and just make sure you don't sew that ear um, on the side. We're obviously sewing them at the top but that little ear, just make sure you took that well out of the way of your stitching. And so the same again, nice running stitch. So there we have it, I've sewn right from there all the way across the top making sure I've done nice tight stitches to hold it all in place and then I've sewn that little bit of the edge there tied my threads off and snipped them and now you'll see it come to life a little so remove your pins and gently turn it around oh cute hopefully you're pleased at this stage if, you've, if you're following along with the video so push the corners out there we go, we're ready to add some features. So you can paint them on, you could marker pen them on, you can do as you as I'm going to do here. I'm going to add some little bits of felt or you could just stitch them on. So here I've cut a circle of felt and cut those circles in half. And um, I'm just using the three of the pieces here. Just make sure you make the two eyes match. I'm just going to add an extra bit of detail with some embroidery thread. You don't have to do any of these stages if you don't want. You can make it super simple if you want. With the ears you could just do one piece of the ear and make him even more simple. But you can add as much or as little detail as you like. So here I'm just going to put some fur lines into the head here just for a little extra detail.
and keep going like I've done here this is just to show another colourway and you can do them absolutely any colours you wish and they're looking rather cute so there we go I've completed the marks on there and I've just decided instead of the black I'm going to do some grey to make him his eyes a little softer so I've cut some more of those out and I think it goes rather well with the bag like this with the bag being nice soft colours I just thought a little softer on the eyes would be nice and 17 London do these bags in so many different colours go and check out their website I've put a link to the website below so do have a look they're absolutely lovely bags really are lovely and so here with the eyes we simply do really tiny running stitch right around the eyes and the nose to attach those in place it's like a little invisible stitch and there we go I've added those and now we're going to do a French knot for a little extra detail on the eyes so I've taken the embroidery thread again and we're simply going to as neatly as we can you might need to practice practice this beforehand if you've not done a French knot before but you curl thread around the needle like that and then try and hold this piece taut and then if you can it's a little tricky it is sometimes especially when you've got thick thread like this hold it taut and then hope for the best yep it's working and pull tight there we go just got a little bit of fluff in there but do practice on um, a scrap piece of felt um, first if you've not done a French knot before. Now that our little fox is nearly complete, we can add a little bit of toy stuffing. If you don't have toy stuffing, you can use some scrap fabrics to stuff in there. Or if you've got an old cushion pad, you can use um, some of the inside of that. We really don't need very much at all. Just use something soft inside. There we go, we're going to attach it onto the bag now. See, we didn't need too much stuffing in. And choose a place here and see, this is why this bag is perfect. It's got this handle at the top that we can attach it to. And so now we're going to do a ladder stitch. This time catching a bit of the handle into the needle and attaching it firmly in place there and tucking the fabric in as you go and pulling tight. I'm just using a red thread here to, so that you can see what I am doing, but you just use a matching thread. So we're going to continue with the ladder stitch, nice and loose to begin with, can you, so you can see where you're going. If you can do the stitches as small as you can, that would be more beneficial really. But go in and out and in and out, and we're going to go right the way round to the other edge of the handle but for now look we can see as you pull it together even those are red stitches they just go invisible in there that's why your ladder stitch is a good one for this so keep going all the way to the handle and then once we've done that you can add a little tiny bit more stuffing down into the nose there and then we're going to just take the needle and sew the rest up onto the handle and secure it nice and neatly in place. Then tie a knot and snip it off. And there you go. He's really cute. I love him. And just because he needs another friend, we're going to make another little one, this time as a key ring. So get a matching piece of cord or ribbon and a little clasp or a key ring and we're simply just going to thread it on pin it in place there, double it over and pin it in place and so we're going to do exactly the same as we did before until we get to this stage before we've sewn it all together so you want to take this and make sure it's centered right into the middle there and we'll pin it in place and then pin everything else in place and we do almost exactly the same as we did last time.
So of course if you just wanted to make the one onto the bag that's great. If you just want to make a keyring one that's great too. Or if you've got any other uses for um, this cute little fox then just make a cute fox. So I've stitched that up just as we did before and there you'll see it's nice and securely in place and we can now add the features and carry on as before. So I've added the features and now I'm going to, I've turned it back the wrong side out and pin it all carefully together and we're going to sew right round and then we're going to make sure we leave a gap. That's absolutely crucial we leave a gap because look, we've sewn it and then we turn it and there he is. And we can stuff him as we did before. But I just do super fast mode here. This one I just embroidered the features on. So we're going to ladder stitch that gap closed and then it's complete ready to attach to the bag. I absolutely love how this has turned out so please do give it a go. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Everybody will want one so you can personalise it any colours you like. It'll be wonderful. Give it a go. And as this is such a fantastic bag I just thought I'd show you how I use it. I've got my laptop in there. Fits in perfectly and I can take my camera equipment around with me. There's so many pockets as you see there for all sorts of everything that you need. You can get ultra organised. Another great feature is that they're water repellent. So for our rainy days it's just fantastic. It's got so many pockets. Great pockets in there for water bottles and it's amazing. Please do check it out on 17london.com. Perfect for my workout gear too. And please do like and subscribe and don't forget to comment too. I'd love to hear from you. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye for now.